Hi, my name is Buket and welcome to my astrology channel. Normally I record Turkish videos, but today I had some time, so I decided to record a horary reading in English for my foreign followers. Okay, um, I'm an astrologer from Turkey. I give um, readings and I also teach astrology. Uh, specific the horary and the basic one, the foundationals of the uh, Western astrology. Uh, so if you want to study with me astrology, you can just write to me, text me on Instagram, Buket Solak. Mm, I, I don't remember the thing for the little line at the end of it. So today we will do a uh, relationship chart and Quirin is asking if he's going to text her or no. Let's, let's read the chart. Okay. So one degree Leo 15 minutes is rising. So it's an early degree and we know that if it's an early degree rising in the ascendant, in horary, it means that um, there can be no, um, there there can be nothing on the surface. Like there is no subject, there is no uh, will to do it because it's too early, or there is nothing to talk about. Or sometimes maybe you ask that, but. You don't know anything yet. Like it's starting to growing up. The situation is not ready to answer. So we start with this and then we go to sun because the quarant is signified with the sun and sun is in Pisces, 10 degrees, Pisces, 38 minutes in the eighth house. Uh, eighth house of uh, that, that, other people's money stress crisis darkness so th these are the eight house subjects so uh it's not good to be peregrine first of all because the sun is peregrine in pisces which means that the aquarian doesn't really know which direction to go or uh she doesn't feel secure or strong to do anything to change anything to achieve what she wants because peregrination means that i have no ability like i have no responsibility where i am i don't know anyone i don't know the place so i'm just lost plus she's in the eighth house double trouble um when we look at the eighth house we see aquarius there and therefore the quest it is saturn Saturn at 29 degrees Aquarius 16 minutes and in the eighth house. So when we see both these significations in the eighth house, it can be an ending because both of them are in the uh, that house. So maybe the relationship is over. Plus that Saturn is in the anaritic degree, which is 29 degree. Uh, which means that the situation is going to change. Like I can't rely on it because it is having some crisis. There is nothing more to go. Like Saturn's feeling like I'm done. I am changing a sign. So new, new things, new life, uh, new options are coming to me or I'm just not going to be here anymore. That's what it says. Plus, there is a Mercury about to conjunct Saturn. So normally I take Venus, uh, of course, if it's not the ascendant ruler, as a another person, specifically woman. But we know that Mercury is hermaphrodite. So it's both man and woman. So some charts, I figured out that if there is a Mercury uh -huh. with the quesited, it can define a the third person. 
and they're really close and Mercury is going to apply to Saturn a conjunction. When we are done with the sun and the seventh house ruler, and we already see that there is no aspect, what I look is um, I want to make a relationship by aspect between my significators because it means that they're going to come together. But if there's no aspect, it means that they're not going to come together. I need an aspect to achieve what I want. So there is no aspect. Maybe this, uh, the moon can transfer light. Let's check moon. Moon is the, uh, the co-significator of the querent and the, the theme of the question, like what's happening in the question. So I see that the moon is in four degrees cancer, 53 minutes and in the 12th house. So the moon is essentially dignified, which means that the moon is really strong to bring its promise, fulfill its promise. However, as in the 12th house of darkness, hidden enemies, self undoing, imprisonment, etc. So it's, it's not um, effectful to be in the cadent 12th house because when you're in the cadent house it lessens your uh, ability to do to achieve things uh, even though the moon is in a good shape the moon's next aspect will be with the sun it's going to be a trine and the sun is the querent so, which means that you're going to be in the same point where you started because the moon is going to apply to me. So, and plus moon is um, ruling the 12th house. So probably I will be face to face with my self undoing. It's possible, or maybe some losses. I mean, it's not good that your 12th house is applying to you. So, um, and plus, Moon doesn't make an aspect with Saturn as well. At the end of the conclusion, we see that the person who asked the question is not in a good shape. Peregrine and the Malefic 8th house. Plus, Saturn is in an erotic degree, in a crisis, is changing the environment, changing himself. Uh, we can't rely on which is at the edge of the sign. And plus, Saturn is with someone else, probably, because there is a Mercury hermaphrodite, very close. Um, and plus, the moon is in the 12th house. Even though she's strength, uh, she knows that she's not capable of to do anything, to change anything. Plus, the other person is Saturn. Saturn is a heavy planet. Like, you can't expect Saturn to make a move to you. You can be the mover, but not Saturn. That's not him. Um, so, this is what can we look. What else we can check is we can go to declination. And I know that they don't have any antigen. Because uh, for, the, for the cancer, we go to the... We go to... Uh, what was the English name? Gemini and uh, Sag. So there is nothing there at the 25 of the both signs, no antition. And uh, for the sun, Libra, Libra axis, Libra, um, Aries axis, no antition for sun too. And there is no antition or contra antition for Saturn. So we look at the declination table and what we see with the sun, Okay, sun is alone, because I give one orb to each side. Uh, what about Saturn? Saturn, Saturn, Saturn. Saturn is with Mercury again. Look, this is 14 degrees south, 18 minutes for Mercury. And, oh, no, I'm sorry. Okay, there's two, two, um, two orbs. I'm sorry, that, never mind. But they're together here, okay? But if you take two orbs for declination, then you can take them. 
up to you, but they're close and we see that already in the Ptolemaic aspects, they're together. So what else, what else? Let's see the moon, moon is out of bounds. So uh, there is an extraordinary thing like out of sounds, out of, uh, out of bones is kind of like you are not here to do something. Sometimes it shows that it's an extraordinary thing. Maybe this person is being too emotional about the subject, but it's already done. Uh, the chart, the rising degree is saying that. I mean, you're asking, but there is nothing about that. Like, stop expecting, stop waiting for the text. Just move on. That's what it says. Uh, and if you look at the sun aspect, where is it going? I guess it's going to the Uranus first and then Mars as a classical Kalian planet. Uh, so it's going to make a sextile with Uranus and square with Mars, which is not good. Mars is peregrine and it's not good that our significator is going to apply a peregrine planet. Plus it's Mars, Mars the malefic. It's a, um, it's not a good sign. It can bring harm. It can bring harm. So, okay, mm, this is the chart. So this chart is negative because as I said, they need to be conjunction. Like they need to be an aspect so we can tie both these significators if there is no aspect we expect moon to deliver the message but it doesn't happen also so this was the chart i hope you enjoy um i'm gonna record more videos like that so keep in touch follow uh comment and sorry for my um broken english actually i know uh, and I speak nicely, but it's been like nine years, <laughs> maybe 10 years that I have been in the United States. So it's a little bit gone. And I was um, educated in a uh, Oracle School of Astrology by Michael Bryan. So all of our classes were in English. So I practiced, but it's been three years ago still. It was 2020. So it's been time that I don't speak English daily. So sorry for my uh, language. It's, it's gonna be better, I promise. So thank you for watching me. Take care, bye.